What's up, everybody? Welcome into another JHow Tech Tip where we're going to talk about how to set up a Discord server. Yes, it's easy. Yes, it's free. We're going to show you all the details in terms of how to set it up, how to set up channels, how to manage roles, and things to look out for when you are setting those things up. So let's get into it. Now, first things first, I already have my own Discord server. It's been around a long time, but we're going to talk about how to set up a new one. You're going to go into your Discord, and at the bottom, if you scroll to the bottom on your left, let's say you're already in several ones, you can click on the plus sign to add a server. All you have to do is click on create a server, and that's going to make it very easy. You can name it whatever you want if you have your own Twitch channel or something you want to go to. We'll just name this Josh for now because that's what it is, and I don't have a whole lot more that I need to do. If I have an icon, if I have a badge or an emoji that I want to use, I can use that as well. I just click on that. It's going to open that, and then I can set that. Instead, we're just going to hit create, get through this, and now you can see it's going to be here. It gives me a chance to invite friends. I'm not going to worry about it, but as you can see, I do have the invite link, which you can easily do by making sure that it never expires and the maximum number of uses to no limit, and then you can generate a new link, and now this is your permanent link. So if you have a YouTube channel, if you're on Twitch, if you're on some type of streaming service, you can use this, and now it's a permanent link that you can link anywhere so everybody can now find your channel. Now, as you can see, it automatically sets up one text channel and one voice channel. And how can we make our way to get different channels and make it look like all the other channels that we're joining? As you can see in my channel, there's all kinds of different stuff. There's different announcements. There's different stuff for my Patreon users, for my subscribers to talk about TV shows. There's different voice channels, different things that you can do. So let's get all that set up. So things that you can do is you can create channels or you can create a category. Category is normally what you want. And let's just say that we're starting a server for the first time. Things that we want to have in this are basically things we want people to read. And we can just name it something like the important category to make sure and come through. As you can see, it now creates this drop down. We're going to drag this to the top. Things that we can do, this is now like your top level category. And now we can create a channel inside of it. So let's say that the first thing we want is to have announcements. Now you can't capitalize anything here, so we're just going to create the channel. Announcements. So now I can come through here and it can just say, welcome to my new test server. And now the announcement is there. Announcements are generally something that I want to have only there and only the people to come in and read it. I don't necessarily want to have people to come in here and just start controlling and typing in that because then it's going to hide my announcements. And we'll talk about the roles here in just a second to make sure that that's there. But one easy way to do that is just to edit the channel. Now, one thing that you can do is just go to your permissions and you can see that basically everyone, right now this is the only role that's set up because by default it's everyone. If we wanna make sure that people can't send messages, all we have to do is go down to send messages, click the X there, and now all that they can do is read this area. They can't do anything else and the only thing they can do is to now see it, which means that I'm the only one or moderators or other people that I set up with roles are the only people that will be able to type in here. So now my announcements will stay stagnant. I can also set up different stuff like rules so that they can come in and we can keep this here. Of course, you can drag these wherever. Maybe I want the rules up here. Maybe I want the rules here, but we'll put this here in rules. Don't be mean. Same thing. You can go here, make sure and channel that, the permissions, make sure and do that. Now, an easy way to get around that, let's say I wanna create several channels like that. Let's say we go through and we delete this channel. Let's say, you know what, maybe we wanna just carry over the exact same rules. Let's say we set up a bunch of rules here to where it's like, all right, different people can do different things. One easy way to do that is to just right click this channel and hit clone channel. And then we can keep the exact same rules intact. And now the same thing is here. We can leave it here and now these are the exact same rules. We can check that just to be sure and you can see the permissions stay the exact same. So all of my stuff that's gonna be here is going to carry over the exact same rules and we can clone another channel and just say tweets. You can link your Twitter and stuff. That's a much more advanced one. But now it's just going to go there. Only I can post there and things are gonna come in. And so now I have that set up and they have the exact same rules for people to be there. Now, another thing that we like to do is we like to talk about TV shows. We like to talk about sports. We like to have different sections that people are gonna be in different areas. The same thing goes to where all you have to do is create a channel. And let's say you wanna just have the subcategories, different channels, different categories. That's all you wanna do. And you can move around that. Text channels, we can rename this. We can do different things. 
around it. So just saying that this is the shows and movie talk. And so now it's like, hey, you know what? We want to make sure that we have this shows and movie talks. You can open and collapse it. We can rename this. We can do a lot of different things. And it's like, spoiler alert. So now we have that. So we have different things that we can do. We like to talk about different things. We can talk about games. Same thing that goes for voice channels. You can set up voice channels to do different things. We can set up different types of voice channels. As you can see, I have different things for different games. So let's say I have a bunch of people playing Call of Duty. Like I want them to be able to know where those Call of Duty channels are. You can name them whatever you want. You can set up multiple ones and you can see different ones, gaming channel, Patreon chat. You're gonna see different things around that to where people can come in, hang out and use those channels. Discord's created for people to hang out. It was really originally started for gamers and you can see it's basically developed into its own community and Discord has taken it to another level that we didn't quite expect and now this is the default that a lot of people use. So a couple of housekeeping items that you'll wanna keep an eye on with your servers. You wanna go into your server settings. There's a few things that you wanna make sure and use. System messages channel. I think setting this up to say no system messages is normally a good start. Now here's something that if you're using Discord at all, you already know that getting a lot of notifications notifications tends to lead people to silence or mute those channels. And one thing that really happens is the all messages here, the where there's ever a message typed in there, there's going to be something that says, hey, you know what, you've got a message in here. It says, we highly recommend this to only at mentions for a public discord. Now, if you, it's just a small group of friends, sure, that makes sense. But for most people putting only at mentions, I wish this was on default, but as you can see, they try and put that in there. You should always be checking this. Put this on only at mentions. As your channel grows, everybody's gonna thank you because they're not going to want to mute your stream right away because every time there's a message there, they're getting some type of notification. This is much better so that if they're added, whether it's directly or everyone or all, which you can also mute as well if you're a user, but you wanna save changes and make sure that's there. Another housekeeping item to make sure that when you're starting a server to make sure it stays genuine and direct, your moderation level, if you plan on growing this, you wanna make sure that there's gonna be some level of protection. By default, the verification level is none, but most people like to have a verified email on their Discord account so that they don't get trolls, they don't get bots, they don't get spam. This tends to be the nice one to go to. If you don't really care and you're just setting it up for friends, you can leave it at none and none of this really matters. Just make sure that you hit save and there's a couple of other things you can continue to look through. I highly recommend recommend if you're setting one up for the first time that you go through a lot of this, but if not, at least put this on low. But again, if you're only using it for a few people, just set it on none and hit save changes. All right, the next section actually could take a while, but we're going to give you the TLDR because this is actually pretty easy to use. And I, I highly, highly recommend that you actually go through and look at this. By default, there's only one role. That's everyone. That's a pretty understandable role. And you can go through and you can actually see all the things that are here. Whether you want them to have administrator, you go through. And I really recommend just looking through all of these to see what you have. A couple of things that I would recommend turning off is something like mentioning everyone or here and get rid of that. That can be another troublesome to where, again, a lot of servers tend to get muted if they get added by everyone in here because nobody wants to be added by some random person that just joined. Also sending the TTS messages off. I think turning off mention at everyone and at here is a really good thing. You should reserve this for maybe different roles or people that you can trust in a different role or people that have been around a while that you can upgrade. Everything else is going to be pretty self-explanatory, but if you're setting up a server for the first time, I highly recommend turning off mention at everyone and at here because that can get pretty annoying if somebody gets pretty liberal with it because again, despite your best efforts, that is kind of out of your control unless you turn it off here. Everything else here, very explanatory. And we're gonna save those changes. Now let's talk about moderation roles. If you go through here, there's different roles you can set up. I have different things set up, whether it's for mods, whether it's the people that are part of the Patreon, whether they're online, there's different things that you can do. And how do you do that? You just stay in your settings and you are in your roles. Now with your roles, let's say we're gonna set up a mods role. We can set up, you can change it to a different color so that when it shows up at the top right, everybody knows what's going on. Again, I don't wanna get into the finer details of what's going on here because all of these are pretty self-explanatory in terms of what you want. As you can see, turning on administrator, I would only recommend this to somebody you absolutely trust. And even then, I don't know if I would go with that because it's going to bypass a lot. And it says, this is a dangerous permission to grant. 
So keep this very close to yourself. You should be managing your own Discord and only trusting basically nobody with stuff like that. But overall, you can trust them with other things. And going through and reading these, whether it's kicking members, banning members, those are things that you want your mods to do and not necessarily everyone to do. So having your mods being able to do that, changing different stuff. Again, I'm going to leave this to you. I have recommendations. I think leaving this to where people can mention everyone in here with your mods, that's a cool feature because maybe they're going to try and help you out with trying to say, hey, you know what? You've got a new video. You're stream is live they can mention everybody but not some random person and it makes it a lot easier to add that so go through and add your roles things that you might want to consider obviously are view the audit logs so that mods have an idea of what's going on managing roles is cool managing channels kicking and banning members these are what i want my mods to normally do so you can go into that try and figure out what they're all going to do and make sure that they can continue to do a lot of those things and help out your channel. If you have subs, if you're a Twitch streamer or you've got different things, you can say, hey, you know what? We've got subs and now maybe the subs have different things that they can do that are different than your regular everyone users to where you can do all the normal stuff, but maybe you can manage the emojis. Maybe they can do different things. But for most people, you're going to just keep all of this very simple. Maybe the attached files is something you want them to do. But again, make sure that you are very deliberate with this in terms of making this happen. Now, how do we assign roles? First, you're gonna make sure you save changes, then you're gonna go back here. Now for me, I'm the server owner, but let's assume that I'm a regular user. It's very easy to just right click on a name, go down to roles, and now you can see that I can make myself a, a mod or a sub or whatever. I can check and uncheck and make sure and assign those roles. To verify that those are the things, I can left click and now you can see the roles are there. If I want it, if I'm the owner, if I'm somebody that can do that, I can always uncheck those pretty easily. But as you can see, there's multiple ways to do that and setting people up with different roles is as simple as that. Now let's say I have different things that I wanna communicate with my administrators, with my mods that I want to be able to keep private. How can I make that a thing to where I can communicate with them directly without having to go into the DMs or setting up a group chat? I can actually do that the same way that I set up the other channels. So what we're going to do is we're gonna set up a new category. Let's just call it mods or whatever else to where it's gonna be important talk. I'm gonna create a channel within that and it's gonna just say admin talk or whatever we're gonna name it to where we can be able to talk about different users and stuff like that without everybody seeing it. Right now you can see there's a hashtag there and that's just how things work. Now I can go into edit channel and I can go into permissions. You can see that everyone's here. Now how do I make this a thing? Similarly to what we had in the announcements, to where it was like, hey, you know what? We don't want everybody to send messages. Well, you can do something the exact same thing here is that we can go into the channel, we can go into the permissions and we wanna make sure that they can't read messages and they can't send messages. Basically, they can't see the channel. They can no longer see anything. They can't read message history. They can't read messages and they can't send messages, thus making it a ghost town for them to be able to even see what's going on. So it makes it really easy. You can just turn all this off. Now, if I want my mods there, Clearly I want my mods to have different permissions. Now everything here for them looks a lot more normal and for everyone there, they no longer can see that. You're gonna see that there's going to be, first we're gonna save, we're gonna exit this, and now you're gonna see there's a little lock symbol on that, meaning that it is private and things like that. I can do the exact same thing by setting up a voice channel in case we need to have some type of admin talk. And you can clearly see that there's a shortcut here as well, as opposed to setting that up. I can just click private channel and then select mods and thus it carries over the settings pretty easily. I just need to give it a name, mod talk, and that's it. And now you can see that that's sectioned off and there's nothing that anybody can really do unless they have that role. So now you can see I have the important part. Normally you wanna set up say a general channel so that people come in there's different things you can set up for the general channel and for ways for people to join and see the general announcements and everything else that come along with it. As you can see, Discord is extremely user friendly. It makes things a lot easier to use. Setting up either a voice channel or a text channel, just getting started. It's free, it's easy, it's very simple and there's basically the easiest possible way to set up roles, to get the proper moderation and to set up different things. One thing that I like to do when I was originally setting this up is to just kind of go around, look at different channels and see what they've got going. You can see different channels and see what they have. You can see that they have different channels. They have different supporter channels. I have different channels that I like to do. There's certain things that I like to have to share with different people, whether they're looking for a game, they can find different ways to share their lives with people 
or their own channels or their voice channels. Just go around, look at other channels, see what they have set up, find different ways that you can look at things and say, you know what, I like what they're doing. Let me see if I can go in here. You can see that there's a dedication to the class discussion for people that play WoW. There's different things that you can set up, whether it's part of a gaming community or anything else. Discord can be used for a wide range of things to set up, to get going to talk with people and communicate and grow a community of your own or to join your own community. And there's so many different things you can do with Discord for free. It's gonna do it for this JHAL Tech Tip on how to set up a Discord server here in 2020. I'm sure a lot's going to change over time. So make sure to subscribe for future updates as well as other tech content. If this video helped you out, feel free to hit that like button or leave a comment below letting me know what helped you or if you have a question and maybe I'll be able to help you out as well and be able to respond there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.